Framer is a website building tool that is made in the perspective of designers rather than developers. It's one where you drag and drop elements onto the page in order to make a website. So in this tutorial video, we're going to go over how to build out the structure of the website, then get into styling it, you know, making it pretty, then talking a little bit about animations and effects, and finally talking about linking pages together. Now we will be going over Framer's direct competitor called Webflow, which is meant for more for developers. And we're going to go over their pricing. So make sure to listen until the end to see my final thoughts on which one you should use. Now, when you first log on to Framer, this is what it looks like. Now I will link my affiliate link below so you guys can make sure you are on the right track. But essentially, once you come in here, you can open Framer. You can see I'm already signed in. So you click that. Now you are going to need to sign in or sign up. It doesn't require a credit card because we're gonna use the free version for this just to kind of show you around and how it works. So don't be alarmed there. You just have to verify your email and all that. Once you get in here, then you can press new. I'm starting from blank nothing. So click this blank site in order to follow along with me. So I have mine here. So you can see it's completely blank. It just says desktop and there's nothing else. You can zoom out. It's literally just a blank sheet. Now what I wanna do is go over kind of the interface. In order to do that, I want to recreate my website, which is currently on Ghost. So if you can see us here, we're just gonna recreate this top piece because I just feel like that is the best way to learn just by copying, especially if you have a website in mind that you want to recreate. So essentially what we're gonna do is come in here and you're on desktop. Now you can be on pages. You can see these are the different pages of the website. We're gonna be focusing on home, but we'll, we'll get to the about page. Um, layers and assets. So what we're going to do first is we need to frame out the website. So we're gonna be focusing on the structure. What we have to do is look at my website and go, okay, there's a toolbar up here. And then there's this section over here and this section over here where the video is. So essentially we have three chunks or three frames. So that's how I'm going to structure this. So the first thing I'm gonna do is press F on the keyboard to get the frame function, and then get to this corner and just drag and drop to the end. And I'm just gonna make this 80 pixels. And then I want to change this to white because I don't know why it picks, it's probably because it wants you to know that that's the frame, but then I'm going to make that solid. Um, and then I want to actually add a border just so you guys can see like what the border looks like. Okay, so then you can see that's our toolbar. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double click in the layer section over here and name this toolbar. Um, that way it's super clear. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna drop in my logo. So I have that as an SVG file um, just on another, um, like a Windows Explorer. So just drag and drop that in here. Now this thing's massive. So just bear with me here. You're gonna have to make this thing a lot smaller and it's 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 quite the process to get this thing. Um, oh gosh, now I lost it. Uh, to get this thing moving here. So I'm just gonna keep resizing this until I can get it like so it's decent. My SVG file is massive. So then we zoom in. So just make it look like decent. So you can see, I'm just gonna make it kind of the same size that my website is has it as. And then that looks pretty good. And let me just scroll over. A lot of this is just navigating this around. I want to add some text up here that says home and about. So what I'm gonna do is actually press the T button on your keyboard and then just click anywhere where you want your text. I'm just gonna put home. I'm gonna press escape. And then right next to it, I'm gonna press T again and put about. And then I can always just put them right next to each other but we'll work on the styling a little bit later, but you can see they're inside this toolbar. See how on the layers here, you have your, your um, frame that we named toolbar, and then you have your elements. Next, I wanna add in some text, right? Um, I need to add in two more frames because we have the two columns. So I'm gonna press F on the keyboard again and just build out that frame. It doesn't have to be exact. I'm just gonna do something like that. And then I'm gonna make it white kind of like we did with the last one. And then I'm gonna press Control C, Control B, move this one over here. Well, I could just move that one. I tried to stack them, let me just redo that. Okay, I'm just gonna press F and do another frame because they don't have to be identical, but you can see I press F and now you can see right here, click, 
go back, click and drag it to the end until you see the lines set up here. Again, this is gonna make it blue again. We don't need that. But you can always readjust everything. And you can see this one's kind of a little bit smaller. So again, you can just keep doing this until you see a line and then bam. So now we have, I don't know, this is kind of covering that up, but oh, there we go. So essentially we have our frames. Now I want to add a video in this frame and I want to add the text or headings in this frame. So I'm going to call this frame the video, video, and then I'm going to call this frame the introduction. Cool. So now what I want to do is I want to actually add the elements here. So to add the video, all you have to do is press insert, go down to video and mine's a YouTube video. So you just drag and drop that into that frame. And then all we have to do is grab the URL for the video, copy and paste that, take it back here and then add it, scroll down here where it says video, press enter, bam. This side, um, we're gonna add text again. So we're gonna press T and then hold down and you can make it as big as you want. So I'm gonna add that and then I'm just gonna copy off my website because I am copying it. And then I wanna add another T. So I press T again, drag until you have a big enough text box. And then I'm gonna copy this and bam. And then I'm gonna do one more T, press T on the keyboard, drag and drop. And I'm just gonna grab this paragraph here, control C, control V, and there we have it. That is the structure of our website. And we need to do the styling, but for right now, that is the structure. Okay, so now we need to get into the styling. So what we have to do here is actually click this top piece here. This is your toolbar. You can see it on the left side here. And what we're going to do is actually go into layout and you see how this added a stack. Now this pink is not actually there. It's just supposed to show you the differences. Um, this is a little bit easier way to make sure they're spaced properly and all that. So what you want to do is once you're in stack you actually need to space between it's just Liz and home. So you're gonna press F on the keyboard and drag and drop a little a square there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the color to white and then we're going to add a 1FR here and a 1FR here. And then we're going to actually add a little bit of padding as well. So if we go back to here, we wanna go in here and add some padding. So I just clicked out of that. See, here's the one that I was messing with. I clicked out of that because I wanted to pad these sides. So what I'm gonna do is just press up on this padding until I get it to where I want it. And that looks about good. And you can move um, some spacing between these two, but I think this looks about how I would want it to look, but you can play around with each one. What I do wanna do is as I'm highlighting this, I wanna press Control K to make this a component um, in case we wanna use it again um, on another page. So I'm gonna call this a toolbar. So it already knows that I wanna kind of name it a toolbar because I named um, the frame over here, but this is a component and you can see now it turns into this um, kind of purple color and then it becomes a component. Now the cool thing about it is you can customize this and then you can just call the component whenever. Um, so we don't really need anything else customized, but let's just go back to home. And now you can see that our toolbar, it looks like it's this purple piece right here. Videos are pretty easy to edit um, the styling on. So if you just click this, I just wanna change the corner radius. So if you see, as we increase that, it makes the corners kind of rounded. It's kind of nice. So that is basically all I wanna do. The, the play button's there and everything. So I think that looks pretty good. Now this stuff over here, I just wanna double check that our styles down in the text, this is tagged as an H1. It knew that because I copied it from a website. Um, and then this one, I wanna double check, this is H2. And then you can go in here and press edit if you wanna change any of the settings of this, but I think it looks okay for now. So I'm just gonna make sure they're lined up. And this one, I just wanna double check, this is a paragraph. So if we scroll down, styles, I wanna add paragraph to it. 
And then you can also change the spacing as well. So you can make them tighter or not, and you can change the letter spacing and all that. And then that is at least good for the styling component. And now we just gotta add a little bit of effects and animations. When going about animations, I don't wanna get too carried away, but I do want to, when I play this and I hover over this, I want it to kind of fade a little bit. So if we go in here, we can create a component and let's, so I did control K and then we can press video or type in video and create a video component. This allows us to give a hover section. So if we press here and press hover, now we can make this opacity a little bit less and then have this one basically um, go into, or have the transition be like a fade. So I'm gonna do, um, I made sure that I touched variant one, which is not the hover one, the one previously to the hover, go to styles, transition, change it to an ease. And I'm gonna do like 0.4 seconds. And then go ahead and exit out of that. Go back to home to get out of the component. And now when we press play, you'll see this fades, right? So that's how you add a little bit of the effects, at least for the video section. You can play around with more stuff. So if we click the hay, and let's say I want an effect on that, I'd press, I'd go to effects, press, um, I want it to be a, an appear animation, which means like when I, when it appears, it's gonna come, it can fade in or whatever you want to do. So I'm gonna do trigger on appear. We're gonna do an effect and we can just do an opacity effect. Um, we don't have to type anything in here. It knows what I want. And then exit out of here, we added it. You can see it's an appear, you can go in here and edit. Now when we press play, you saw that it jumped out. You can change um, the speed of that if you want. So um, all this stuff is all customizable, which is great. And you can change it to an ease. So we could do like a 0.5 and you'll see how that affects it. When we press play, you can see it, it took a little bit longer. So you can play with all sorts of animations like that. The effects are really, they call it effects, Webflow calls it animations, um, but it's still pretty good. Now our site's looking pretty dang good. The only thing I wanna add is the links to the home and about, because right now when you hover over them, there's no link to go to the about page. So if we press escape to get out of that, and we go into this component, so we can double click to get inside of it. If we click the about, so if I zoom in here and I click this about, I can add a link up here at the top, press the plus button, and then just click the about page and then bang, it is done. Now you can customize the style of the link. Right now I have, um, you can go in here and edit and make sure there's no decoration. Otherwise you can add an underline, you see how that affects it or across, but I'm just gonna keep no decoration. That's when you hover over the link. And so that looks pretty good. And then if we go back to home and press play again, you can see it'll take us to the about page. Now where that about page comes from is the pages section over here. So you can see we have a home and about and a 404. So I just sent it to the about page. So you could add more and more pages and then add your links so that you, way you can navigate to multiple different pages. So as far as pricing goes, it's actually relatively on point with the other site building applications. So I would recommend the basic, I would say, Per month, you get four personal sites, unlimited pages, password protection, 10,000 visitors a month. I highly doubt you're going over any of that, unless, you're, unless you are. Um, unless you have a ton of views or you're like a high-end YouTuber or something, then maybe upgrade it, but I think that is gonna be perfectly fine. Um, you can also could do this mini plan, but that's for landing pages. I feel like if it's a personal site of yours, you should probably do the basic. Now this is on point with Webflow. So Webflow has a basic plan as well, although their most popular is $23. So I guess you can get a little bit um, more bang for your buck with Framer, but essentially they're right along, they're within like $5 of each other and they're both called the basic plan and they're a dollar off. So I just feel like it's essentially the same thing. I find that a Webflow is a little bit more developer heavy, where Framer is more for designers. I find Framer a little bit more intuitive, 
Um, although I do have a developer background, so it's kind of confusing. Um, I don't know, I'm conflicted, but I find a framer was a lot easier to use, at least up front, because if we look at the insert table, like it's a lot easier to drag and drop. The other one uses like navs and divs and kind of terms that are more developer heavy. Now I've been using terms throughout this tutorial, like headings and divs and navs, like that kind of language. Now I did do a ton of web development in, in the course of my career, but I learned through a company called SheCodes. So I will link it below. It's one of my favorite platforms to learn web development on. And I recommend it to everyone. It's not, this is not sponsored by SheCodes. It's just a really good course. If you actually want to know how to brute force code these websites and not just drag and drop if you want to know the code behind them because this all gets translated into code so if you have wanted to learn how to code that is where i recommend to learn how to code now i do have a basic tutorial on webflow because i learned how to use that first before i tried framer so if you're interested in seeing if webflow is more up your speed then go ahead and check that out i will link it up here and below otherwise i will see you guys next time